So, hello, Theo. Hello, hello, Jens. How are you? So, <laughs> I'm great. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry for for being a little late, but um, ah, uh, Zoom, well, wanted, well. Zoom, wa Zoom wanted Zoom uh, Zoom wanted to 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 uh, run an update, and <laughs> that took ah. um, a little longer. Yes. Um, so Zoom was tricking you today, yeah? Yes. What shall I say? So um, I'm not sure. Playing games with you today. The Zoom. Uh, next week earnings with with Zoom or something. So yep. uh, if this happens again, then I short the stock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's how you do it. <laughs> oh, righty. So yeah, you need to put some pressure. Sometimes you need to put some pressure on uh, on the oh. company. So this is uh, this is not how we do it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So shall I um share my screen? Yes, please. Okay. So, so the stage is yours now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. <laughs> Thank you. You too. <laughs> so hello. Um, I'm happy to be here today. So uh, it's earnings season once again, and uh, today we want to focus on the hot plays of the day. Um, and I'm really happy that earnings season uh, kicked off this week, especially we already had earnings last week with Netflix, we had Tesla. Um, but this week was um, was packed with Microsoft on Tuesday, we had Meta, Facebook on Wednesday, we had also Google Alphabet on uh, Tuesday, we had Amazon yesterday. And uh, we want to focus today on Amazon. The interesting thing is, in fact, that a stock which I hadn't on my radar um, for the week is potentially uh, the most interesting play for today. It's um, Cloudflare, respectively Net. This is the ticker symbol, um, and there's also Pinterest, um, who um, which which came out with the earnings yesterday. It was also Snap, but I think Net is the most interesting one, um, giving a let's say mixed guidance, or it wasn't very strong. In fact, as the earnings were okay, but a revenue came in below expectations. Guidance for the upcoming um, a quarter and upcoming quarters for the full year came in below expectation. And the stock is gapping down over 20% right now. And the interesting thing is uh, that on average, we have something like 4.8 million shares being traded um, on average for the last, I think, three months, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so right now we have already nearly 1 million shares being traded, which means the stock is uh, potentially hot, qualifying for, for play for today. And also technically very interesting. So there's no significant bounce. And um, yeah, we want to wanna dig deeper um, into, into, into this play today. Um, before we start, um, I need to make sure that you're aware that we are trading leverage products here. And uh, it is likely, very likely, in fact, that um, we will make a trade today. And um, if you decide to um, copy this trade, uh, please make sure that you understand all risks involved when trading CFDs. These are leveraged products are not suitable for all investors, which means um, you're facing risk of, of, of losing money. And uh, you need to be aware of that. Everything I present to you on my thoughts, this is purely educational content. Um, so please make sure that you understand all risks involved. If you plan to make a trade, you take full responsibility and uh, you take um, um, please care of all risks when trading these products. Again, it's purely informational. It's it's purely educational. Um, and don't, uh, don't, don't try this at home. I think that was something uh, which, which was said something like 20 years ago but um again um i i'm happy to share my thoughts if you have questions please ask them but um all trades uh, all trades you take are um on 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 you and 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 you take full responsibility so for all risks involved also you can keep all gains if um if, if we get lucky and the, the the trades play out certainly but again please make sure that you read the risk disclaimer carefully um i don't need to introduce um admirals i think any further um because theo already made a great um intro introduction i want to want to jump right over here to my uh trading station i prepared it already um i want to guide you here through through my my layout um, and then uh, we take it from there. So I guide you through my to my game plan, why the stocks are of interest for me, how do I spot these? And um, so you can see here the the big, this is my trading window, in fact. This is the window where um, I place my trades. You can also see that um, here I'm using the mini terminal. You can get this for free. This is the Supreme add-on you can find on the website from Admirals um, and download it there for free. 
Um, I highly recommend it when trading actively and especially when um, making trades on a discretionary basis here to make sure that you um, uh, use the, the, the mini terminal. It's a great tool. Um, and you can see here that I can already uh, say how many stocks I want to trade. I want to, um, I will show you why um, um, or how I define my daily risk um, for each play. And um, I will also show you here. So this is then for Amazon. Here you see a reduced position size that has nothing to do uh, with um, how heavy the stock is. Um, but it has something to do with um, how well my checklist um, is met, in fact. And I have um, certain criteria which needs to be met so that I take um, 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 a stock for the day um, into uh, um, um, deeper consideration, let's say, and then take it from there. So that's a five-minute chart here. This is an hourly chart. This is a daily chart. Um, so upper right, hourly, lower left, uh, lower right, it's a daily chart, but my trading decisions, um, even though I make my trades here uh, or my charting um, is not done via um, this platform, but in fact, I'm using, and we will switch between the trading station and trading view here. Um, I do my charting and, and also um, make sure that I have an overview of the volume which is traded. Um, I have a line here based on the volume. You can you can see it here. This is the um, orange line. This is the volume weighted average price, which is um, of high interest for us. And also uh, you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I hope so. So there's a purple line. Uh, the purple line is probably even more interesting. This is a so-called anchored VWAP. Um, anchored means that we have a price uh, or respectively um, 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 a time we anchor it to. And this is the earnings release from yesterday. So you can see here, this is Cloudflare. Uh, Flare. Um, we, we can also do the same for, for Amazon or for pins, but I, I use some cloud here, Cloudflare, due to uh, due to this, this um, um, being our main play for today, at, at least initially. Let's see, probably things change. Um, but coming back to this purple line, so um, I anchor it to the earnings release. And um, so the volume weighted average price, the name says it all, um, shows us the price which was um, paid from market participants on average um, based on the volume here um, after the release of this data set. So you, we are already having a good indication of whether market participants who sold or bought depending on how um, which side you take here, um, based on the on the uh, release of the earnings yesterday, what what was the average price and if they are underwater especially. So um, let's assume you you bought the dip here for whatever reason. You came to the conclusion let's buy, uh, and then you see the stock now dropping below and holding below this level. Well, that means um, that these market participants are under pressure and potentially forced to liquidate their position and vice versa in this context. So this is like. It's not just um, um, an indication, um, but it's also uh, a line in the sand to measure, let's say, the overall psychology, the overall bias um, in 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 the stock we are we are looking at here. And um, so we have we have um, again, you can see it here in the platform. We have um, um, Net and we have Amazon A M Z N, and we have also pins. Um, but I don't want to focus on pins here uh, initially, and um, I want to make sure that you understand why and why we choose the stocks and why we are focusing especially here on nets and um, then second Amazon and third pins. Um, I'm just I'm just thinking. Well, let me just um, so. This is my this is my game plan sheet where I track all information. I haven't updated it by the way for for some some minutes now. I need to do this um, in a few seconds. But um, I just wonder. You probably first question you might have um, is where do I find information here on uh, which stocks are of interest for us um, for the day? And um, so even though I'm running my um, even though I'm, I'm I'm running my my uh, Twitter feed in German, and that might not be of that much interest for you as an English speaking audience, each day around two thirty, you get um such a such a tweet from my end. It's German. It's some um, high US accent voted. This is German for hot US stocks for today. You can see here it's the date, and you can see um I I track these Amazon pins and then net in this context. So if you're interested um, to have these plays every day um, on your radar and then taking um, it from there based on um, 
the input I present to you. Um, check out Twitter at Jens Klatt FX in this case. Um, and there you get them each day at 2 30, which which place I'm I'm focusing on. And you can come to complete different conclusions here. Um, you might probably say, well, I, I wanna I wanna um have a have a um, um a view on this and that stock more because I like it. But um there's a reason why I focus on these place. And obviously it's um, the first first catalyst we need to have, or the first check I I want to make is that we have fresh news in this case. And as you can see, Amazon Pins and Net um, all released earnings yesterday. So you have here Amazon earnings, you have here Pins, and you have here Net. We want to focus on Net first. So first of all, you can see numbers were okay. If you look at the EPS, earnings per share, um, you can see revenue came in slightly below expectation, but still okay. But what potentially triggered this sharper push lower here was um, the guidance in this case for the revenue, which um, they delivered at 305 to 306 million, again, against an estimate here of 319. And a full year, so FY 2023 is um, the full year guidance. You can see here they um, guide revenue of 128 to 128.4 billion against 1.33 billion expected. So that being said, delivers the sharp push lower as you can spot it here. So obviously market participants are interpreting the news and the guidance, especially in terms of the revenue as bearish. So still, this is not enough for us um, because now I want to, and by the way, let me just probably change this here. That's a little, that's a little weird. So then I have them all within this, within this um, browser. So I then check the pre-market volume. That's of high interest for us. Um, the pre-market volume is available for free. I, I use MarketWatch in this context, by the way, to, to get an, an overview. And they start each morning at 10 a.m. German time. So this is uh, 9 a.m. London. I will share the link here in the um, in the chat box. So you can I, I shorten things up. I, I call it PMKT, okay, for pre-market. And there you have an overview of um, the, the stocks, which are in play, which are hot for today. And um, as you can see here, obviously Intel is potentially interesting. Also earnings yesterday, but Intel is at, at least not for me, not such an interesting trading stock. It's a stock which is quite volatile sometimes and and, and not um, um, delivering so interesting moves, let's say. But here on the laggard side, you can see net minus 20%. And you can also see pins here. And in the morning already, I, I, I saw this popping up here. So my main focus was in fact on Amazon and on um, uh, pins. And, and I knew that they released earnings. So you can see here, so this is earnings whispers. They all deliver this for free. I think they will uh, release here the um, 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 earnings calendar for next week and the most interesting earnings releases here. Um, Tonight, in fact, so on Friday, Friday evening, something like that, and you can see here. So Amazon, Intel, I know this already the week before. Which place to focus on, and then I can already um, um, flip through the charts over the weekend, in fact. And as you can see here, so we had we had um, um, Amazon yesterday. I knew this. I had Pinterest here uh, from a trading perspective. Interesting because I know that there's more than 10 million shares on average being traded per day. So that's potentially of interest for us. Um, we have also other stocks like First Solar or Cloudflare, as you can see here. And um, so using this, um, I then skip through this and I know, well, they deliver earnings. And then I check here, the pre-market screener, and they, it tells me which stock is actively traded, more actively traded, um, and, and reacting to the news, to the fresh catalyst. As you can see, okay, Intel obviously does so after earnings yesterday. The other stocks are not that actively traded, at least not these getting higher. But again, Cloudflare, minus 23%. Um, nearly 1 million stocks being traded. Wait, by the way, let me just update this once again. So it's 950 now. Um, 950,000. We have Pinterest, which again here is also active, 600,000. But compared to what we usually get, and therefore I have another website I'm checking um, each day, in fact, it's FinWiz. I also want to um, share this here with you. So it's FinWiz. And now let's type in net here. So the ticker symbol, Cloudflare, you get 
you get tons of, of, of fundamental data here. For example, on the average traded volume, the volume here from today is now zero because um, we are waiting 50 minutes from now until the, the market opens, Wall Street opening. So 5.9 million, I'm sorry, 4.9 million. You have also information on the short float, on the institutional ownership and so on and so forth. But first of all, to decide whether the play is of interest for us or not, because only that a stock is trading 1 million shares per day doesn't mean anything because 1 million share in the pre-market, this is usually something you get uh, on a on a um, um, no fresh news day in Tesla each day. So this is not big because in Tesla, you have an average daily trading volume of currently, I don't know, 150 million or some 160 million, something like that. So that doesn't necessarily mean the stock is hot, but you have to compare this, put this in relation to what we get on average um, here in terms of the average daily trading volume. So now if you have 5 million shares, slightly below that, um, average traded on, a, on an average basis, and you now have already 1 million share in the pre-market. So there's a ratio of one to five, or in this case, we can say um, a 20% pre-market volume. This, this makes us interested in the stock. The same is also true for Amazon. Amazon, by the way, and that's why Amazon is slightly different today. Amazon also appears here. You can see Amazon already traded 4 million shares, but first of all, the gap is okay. Uh, I mean, it's minus 1.7% and Amazon on average trades, as you can see here, 65, 63, 60, nearly 64 million. That means from a, from a relation perspective, you have slightly below, it's already, let's, let's say it's um, elevated volume in the pre-market, yes, but it's not um, that it's as hot as net in this case. So um, net in comparison has already around 1 million shares and average um, uh, turns over, on average turns over something like 5 million. That means 20%, that's high. Um, while here, 4 million in comparison to 60 million, 64 million is something around what is it, seven or something, 7%. So it's not as hot. Um, and, and this is also true when, for example, looking at pins. So this is how I rank the stock and, and why I, I, I um, um, consider one more attractive or more interesting than the other. Um, on pins, you have here, Pinterest, 11.7 million. And we traded 600,000, 600,000 in the pre-market so far, not 1 million. Um, so we have also something like, 6% average um, or a relation, pre-market volume in comparison to, to what we usually get. So long thing short, Cloudflare, Net is our first place to be, then Amazon, and then we have pins. So we have fresh news. Um, I focus here mainly on Cloudflare due to the bigger gap. So minus 20%, this is huge. Again, the second play is Amazon. It's minus 1.7. It's there's an interesting reaction to the earnings. We can also go through them here. So earnings were good, but overall, I think the um, um, cloud business, AWS, didn't um, um, convince market participants. And after um, the initial pop higher, what do you have Amazon here? Pop higher, we rolled over and and traded lower, but holding at least right now. So we are not trading here down to 106 and below that level. That's Something, well, I, I consider this to be a weak reaction, especially if I compare it to what we've seen in Microsoft or in Meta, especially, um, I'm, I'm on the upside with the gap higher, holding the gap, and then trying to, to break higher. In Microsoft, we broke higher yesterday. It's probably also a play um, um, we could get today in Meta um, if we break above the highs around 241, 400, 242, something like that. But we don't want to get too many stocks on our watch list for today. Um, I, I really love to to focus on the on those with with fresh news. This is a weak reaction, but we are not selling off. Um, we could have seen more weakness if European markets, especially the DAX, you probably have seen it in the morning, fifteen thousand seven hundred. We attacked once again, and but didn't break lower. And right now, let me just check it here. So it's eight hundred. So no no potential on the downside. Probably now, um, 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 U.S. equities will will push higher. Then short is not an option for Amazon in this case especially not as as long as we trade above 106 well that wasn't that wasn't right it's it's an option but i want to see amazon breaking below 106 and now we are already getting to what do i want to see based on my um um based on my my overall view and after realizing these stocks are of interest for me so bigger gap or higher gap gap should be 
3%, probably 5%, plus minus, depends on um, um, the news. We need the news, the fresh news catalyst. We also want to see elevated pre-market volume. Um, and then in this case here, um, I'd like to, to see um, a clear, I, I want to get a clear bias in the market. I want to I want to get a clear news. So clear means in this case, obviously the news is interpreted bearish and the guidance is weak. So it, it suits. So the news and the, the price action um, um, corresponds with each other, let's say. So we get a consolidation now between here 46, 47 on the upside. And on the downside, the key level is 44. And this is now um, the channel I'm using for my trading decisions for today, which means what I'd like to see is a drive below here, these lows around 44 and a hold below that. And also in addition to that, a drop, which should then um, um, go hand in hand, a drop and hold below the volume weighted average price. And all this is something, now you might probably say, well, this, this is lots of information. Um, well, Obviously, I'm prepared, but I do this every day because I'm using here my my, my sheet, in fact. So I'm, I'm running this every day. So first of all, I'm, I'm writing down the ticker symbols, which are of interest for me. Then you can see here I have support resistance. I type in uh, the support levels and the resistance levels, which are of interest for me. You can see here. So this is the play. Usually my main play is higher, but in the morning, um, I, I was... Well, I, I saw net is of interest, but I wasn't sure whether I really want to play it. Now I'm sure, but I haven't changed it. So that was my my ranking in the morning, and net wasn't on my radar. It wasn't my first play for the day, and now it is because of what we've seen over the course of the last hours here in this case. Um, so we have here the earnings, so the news. So sometimes it's breaking news, sometimes it's some um, a news. I don't know what, whatever. Um, there is the game plan. For the stock, I already um, showed it to you, um, or I told you um, how I play to plan to attack the stock. In fact, so we can see here, I, I write down if break and holds below. So if then statements in this case, if we break and hold below forty six, then short. Hey, by the way, forty six is not right. I need to. It should be forty four. Then short if drives and holds below we up. I'm sorry, it was right. Um, no, it was it's. I'm sorry, that wasn't good. So if I should call this pop into the open, that's probably better. And holds, so that's better, that's better. So the drive scenario is the one um, below that. It's the second scenario. So if pop into the open and holds below 46, we've already seen that. So 46, obviously here, this is where we're trading right now. And it's also the line, the A we, have, um, we, we um, um, see around here. And we hold below that. Um, and then we drive below the volume weighted average price. This is now the orange line. Then I want to be short the stock. So that's what uh, what you can see here. Um, the target, the first target then is 44 and even a break lower. And then I already start to continue um, um, on what I plan to do then. You can, you can see it here. I already say, what trade do I want to make? I want to see, a, or I want to trade a so-called momentum play. So I want to see the market really, to some extent, stuffing into the open, rolling over, and then selling off. I can give you an example. If we don't get to see it today, I can give you an example um, in end phase. That was on, I think, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. It was a perfect play, like stuff. And then we sold off something like 17, uh, 17 um, bucks here. But consider at if we break below the pre-market lows, around 44. So take in on more size, since we are then in the driver's seat. And um, the overall target is open. We we keep the trade open in this case on the momentum side to the downside as long as there is momentum on the downside. So we only take the trade out once um, we are we are um, um, stalling, let's say, or there's no continuous momentum on the downside. Second scenario: if we drive and hold below 44 right from the open, so. There's right at the open, selling pressure coming in, pushing us below 44. We hold below. And we are also holding below the um, volume weighted average price. I want to be short. Um, a short consolidation, we, we we need some time there. Probably we are not getting to see a trade then today. Because um, first of all, we, we need to wait for the market to open in three minutes. The pressure has to come. Then we consolidate. It needs to be consolidation, which is um, from a time perspective, makes sense. And then... Or probably there's shallow pollens against uh, the volume weighted average. 
sellers are in control, and then we want to short with the target for continuous weakness. And then we we take here our our middle trader, and then we look at where which which region to look for. In this case, I would say um, 42 as a first target, probably even below that 40 probably is, is, a, is a good reason to, to go for. I think from a risk reward perspective, it should be of interest. But I need to update here the sheet. Um, and this is something which is also of interest then um, after that in, in terms of, of um, documenting my trading. So making sure that, I, that I'm that i aware which place uh, makes sense for me um, after that. And um, so let me just check here. So first of all, it's Amazon. I also have the chart here and the pre-market screen open on, on my other screen. So I don't need to, to um, switch now back and forth. So it's 4.9 million. It's for example, something which I know why I focus on net. Um, when I say documenting my trading, I know that I want to see a stock having a gap, which is greater 3% and an elevated volume in or based on or resulting out of the news catalyst. Both stocks here pins and amazon don't fulfill this criteria that's the reason why i want to want to reduce my position size then and by the way this is also something to 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 take care of um i want to show you that i have a setup checklist it's in german but still i think of of value um to understand i could or i can also translate it it's easy so fundamental catalyst we have a check yes we have earnings so there's breaking news also so on and so but no it's earnings Pre-market volume, greater 10% ADTV. This is average daily trading volume. I showed you how to get this. So pre-market volume, um, 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 market watch. And then we are looking um, here on FinWiz, what's averagely, um, on average traded within the stock. And then if this is greater 10%, we have a check. We have a gap greater 3%. This is also true, minus 3% in this case for, for net. Um, we have a break below a technical relevant level So we could say, well, yes, we, we broke the lows here of um, March. Probably that makes sense um, from, a, from a broader perspective. Um, we have trading. We get to see trading up or above or below volume-weighted average. We have another check. It's five checks. Um, if we break and hold below 44, we have a sixth check here. And also, um, which is of interest, in this case, we can skip this one. But if we have um, an overall sector, I will show you how to get there. But um, if I have enough checks, I then say, okay, every day I'm risking, let's say, we, I throw in a number. I call it 100 euros. And if I have six checks in my favor and more, I consider this to be an A setup for me. This is good. This is something which I want to see. And that then leaves me saying, okay, I risk 30% of my daily stop, which means 30 euros in case of 100 euros risking per day, and then taking it from there. And then I calculate um, the position size according to that. So when I say here in this case, for example, I'm net 100 shares, well, probably a little too much. Probably we, we trade 50, but this depends a little. Now you might see, you can see here, we are one minute in the um, Wall Street opening, but we haven't yet uh, traded. The reason is that liquidity providers need to make sure um, to, to hedge the exposure. And that means that we that we have the first five minutes, which is by, by the way not not so bad. In fact, um, we can we can we can just check out how we come in, what the market does in this case. Sometimes it's right from the start you get a push, which is unfortunate. That's for example something we got in end phase. Um, but but I'm willing to to take the first five minutes because there's now. There's, there's like, um, um, how can I call this? This is like, like the market has to find itself. So what's the true or the fair value in this case of the of the stock? And and you can see here, so we are failing at 46, um, rolling over, attacking 44. And this is now interesting. Let's 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 just see. So 44 is our level. Remember that? I know that because I write it down before, and I'm not now jumping in and make the sense or something like that. No, I write from the start. No which levels are of interest for me. And as you can see here, so 44 is my level. Um, and by the way, I'm, I'm realizing also here, we have 30 cents spread. This is, this is quite much, in fact, for, for a stock, which, which is um, hot for today. Let's just see. So what do we get here? Let's, let's, let's just um, see that. We have, we have um, three, three more minutes and check it out uh, to, to, to wait and, and see. So there's no selling pressure immediately right from the start. Certainly something to keep an eye on. 
Um, pins, pins is, this is interesting. So we're pushing right here, lower. Um, let's just, let's see if we, if we hold below 24. Pins is difficult because let me just um, show you here what I mean with difficult. It's very choppy. Um, so looking at where we gap. So right here, we have a clear break lower. But as you can see here, we are holding a very um, strong support. We're coming into a region where we should expect support. So I'm not really sure whether the risk reward is so attractive for short plays here. And that's one other reason from a technical perspective. If we gap below that level, hold below, well, we have a complete different story. But here in this case, I'm not really sure if this is um, if this is so, so um, um, such, a, such, such a nice play. Um, so now let's jump over here. So now it's a two minute chart. I want to filter out some of the um um you can also go to one minute. So now we see the attempt to break lower. That's interesting, by the way. Um it's interesting because if we are holding that level now, let's see. I mean, we, we have we have time, we don't need to 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 rush into a trade or something. Um, but if we hold that level now and we pop higher but fail to make it back above this um, orange line, respectively, over uh, this purple line, which is the um, um, earnings um, um, anchored we up, I think that sellers are in control, roughly speaking, obviously, um, um, but also roughly speaking. And then I could imagine that we are going for an open range breakout trade, probably, on the downside. So shorting then, um, I don't know, 43.85 or something like that. Um, and, and placing in this case, we could also um, say we are we are then 100% on the momentum side, and we are placing a stop, probably 50 cents higher. Let's see, probably. Let me just see. It's 50 cents. Yeah, probably we also should already should reduce some um, size here to 50 shares. It's like if if I'm willing. Um, so we are not going um, 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 too aggressive right now. So because I can also I I have to speak to you. I'm not fully um, 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 focused then on the chart. So usually now we are we are breaking lower. That's also interesting. So now we already see the move lower. And as you can see now, you might say, well, that's a little unfortunate. No, because um, we can't make the trade plays out as as we as we formulated. Um, but again. So now, now you can see, let's go over here to the trading platform. Now you can see now trading started. So five minutes into the day, as I already said, now liquidity is available. Interesting enough, um, we saw the break lower. Now you might say, well, um, we, we could already have a trade. Yes, but um, let's see if we get another um, sign of for kind of a consolidation. So this is not the consolidation um, 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 I want to see, but now... Probably we need another five minutes to see the market holding below the level. This is the next thing. So we see, yes, we break lower, but you should also take into account, we are five minutes into the trading day. Uh, we have fresh news. And um, so does it really mean that, um, that this is a sustainable break or is it just a flush out? Because more and more market participants are formulating a thesis, which is similar to mine. And now we are sucking them in on the short side and then we see a sharp bounce. Um, if if the, the longer we are in the day and the longer we hold below that level, we're now trading $1 lower. So this is kind of a momentum play then. Um, and now trying to reclaim 44, but holding below that level, that's a confirmation that this is a sustainable break, especially if we get to see a bounce higher now, and this does not correspond with um, increased volume here. But you can see that that there's quite aggressive selling so far. So aggressive selling in relation to, so it's 300, 400 shares here, um, which were traded in land, uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the minute charts. If we get now a bounce, and this is, so something I consider a so-called shallow pull-in. So there's no volume coming in. And, and we hope low 44, which is obviously an interesting level. Well, this could also be an, a clearer sign that um, um, we should we should go for, for, for the short side. But again, I want to see confirmation. So I don't, it's not just that I want to jump right into the action, but I want to see clear signs um, that we are holding below this potential breakout level and then taking it from there. Um, Questions? Are there any questions? So now, right now, so again, we haven't traded the straight break lower, um, which is completely fine. We are trading now one dollar lower than this breakout level. 
But still, let's see if we get to see the bounce, if we hold below the pre-market lows, if we get it, then we are can, we can risk, as you can see here. So I, I, I formulated, or I'm, I'm prepared, I'm sorry. I'm prepared um, for such a scenario. So it's this one, okay? It's the second scenario we're getting to see now. If we drive below, yes, we saw the drive below and hold below and below the volume weighted average price, then we short out of a tight consolidation. So we need to wait for the a tight consolidation or you can see here, there's a slash or there's shallow pull-ins um, towards VWAP. In this case, I haven't written 44, but this is the level in this case I'm, I'm watching here. So shallow pull-ins mean if we get to see a bounce, but it's not under increased volume and you get an idea on how much volume you get there. And you can already see, by the way, here. So now after the first drive lower, also sellers seem to somehow, it's not that they disappear, but they are not as aggressive um, 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 as they were once we pushed below 44. So this is kind of a, um, let's call it an exhaustion probably on the downside after the initial rush, rush lower. And now let's see, we, 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 we somehow seem exhausted a little on the downside. We get to see a bounce. The question now is, do we hold below 44? And if we get to see the bounce, do the green bars you see here, the volume bars, do they decrease? So it's like um, um, you, you, you drift higher in this scenario. You're holding below the um, um, orange line, but the volume coming in here and, and the bounce in this case, so buyers stepping in, they are not aggressively pushing us higher. And as you can see here already, so let's, like, let's see if, if this continues, if we're even capable of bouncing towards 44. This could be also a, a sign if we get to see something like um, um, a tighter consolidation now forming and we're trading the break lower. Um, so yeah, long thing short. Um, any questions so far? Is there any questions, um, anything you you um, want me to check? Let me just see what does Meta do, that Amazon do here in this case. Pop higher, now getting interesting too. So again, here, this is the level from yesterday. We broke the pre-market lows, 106. Let's see, that's also potentially a play, similar to, to net here in this case. So we're driving below 106 in this case and holding below that level. What, what does pins do? Now breaking the pre-market lows too. The reason um, also why I'm pins, I'm, I'm a little skeptical is because Meta was okay yesterday. So this is something I, I refer to as a sympathy play. Strong earnings. I'm I'm not really sure, um, but if we make it here above the highs, 240, uh, 42, I would say, um, pins is not necessarily a runner on the downside, but potentially catches a bit due to the strength then from Meta. And, and that's one of the reasons why this is um, on my list lower, let's say. Um, I'm not that interested in it. So we are holding now 43. Interesting. Again, shallow pull in, holding below 44. This is, this is um, so now it's a patience game. It's like uh, we have to wait until we get a clearer, a clearer signal here. And then we potentially have a trade. Again, we could have, we could have traded the, the momentum on the downside. Here, um, um, if if it appear or it happens after the first five minutes of trading, um, and then here we now have a potential reason to exit the trade. Um, we enter the trade with a risk of something like fifty cents. Probably some traders might probably say, um, I'm, I'm I'm even more aggressive here and don't want to now um, um see pops back above, let's say forty uh, forty four or something like that, which we, which we didn't get to see. We get a bit of risk reward in this case, but we are now scaling out of the position, potentially holding kind of a core, but but in this case, so if it's a pure momentum drive, then you have a reason now to exit, I think. So we're, we're, we're holding here. If we drop 43, we have a reason to um, uh, re-enter, certainly. But um, this is interesting now. So there's now stronger bias coming in against 43. This is interesting because you can see here that the increase in volume, um, the thing is, if we don't bounce now um, and we are dropping 43, these 
participants, market participants um, who just bought against 43, potentially risking against 43, um, will potentially exit, which means there's another flush lower than in this case, which could, which could, which could happen. Um, Ah, by the way, a uh, sector. I, I just want to want to um, um, give you an idea. So, Cloudflare is um, in the business of um, cloud, obviously, and um, I have a, a list of of sectors here, ETFs I'm looking at, um, and I just realized once I checked it out um, before I started the webinar, I just realized that um, I hadn't any um, um, cloud. Um, ETFs here um, in my in my list, in fact, and uh, Sky, for example, is one. It's one of the weakest in this case. This is now the bounce, by the way. It's increased volume. This is not something you want to see. In fact, let's let's just see if we hold below forty four and if we hold below um, the volume at average price. If we if we stall here um, and see no more selling and uh, no more buying coming in, then then we have a potential reason um, to to short here against that level. Um, so Sky is one of the weaker parts. So cloud computing, in this case, obviously the the the, the business this 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 co company is in. Um, this is also a reason now to to have a check on our side. But let's focus let's focus now on let's focus now on on forty four and see um what what happens here in this area. If we get if we get or have trouble, if we get see Trump some trouble. So obviously we have trouble here clearing forty four. But I'm not shorting yet. So this is not this is not enough. So you want to see now first attempt selling against that level, second attempt selling against that level, and then after three four minutes, then I really start to get interested. Else there's a risk that we are um, breaking and holding back above volume weighted average price, which is for me then no reason to um, to 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 um, um, enter a short trade anymore because I want to short. Um, below the volume weighted average price in this case. So obviously, I mean, this is we we spotted this level already in the pre market, and now you can see um, we broke it, and former support is now becoming resistance. Obviously, so market participants are stepping in against that level. As of now, there's no aggressive selling taking place, um, and that's the reason why I don't want to be I don't want to be short yet here. So still we need to be patient. We need to see whether whether we hope below that level. Um, the interesting thing now is, depending a little on, um, but probably we are we are shorting more than only uh, 50, 50 um, 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 shares in this case. I, I probably um, adapt this already a little depending a little on um, how much risk I get, but probably we have a quite tight stop, 30 cents. Buyer stepping up, 44. If if um, 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 bits hold 44. So here you can see it, 40, 43. So 44, so there's, there's selling against that level. So this is the, the, the offers. If the offers lift and then uh, we see a step up of the bids and holding 44, but you don't want to be short anymore. Let's see if, if 44 lifts. $43.99. So you can see, um, I, I already told you, I, I don't want to be short here. The first attempt, at least not. I, I don't want to be short. Let's see if, if the second now, we, we, we tested volume weighted average price, 44.10. Now stepping below again. I want to see a second attempt now. Second attempt. Um, up to 44 and a clearer sign that, that we are oh, a clearer sign, a, a sign that, that we are holding. So this is the first attempt, but it could also mean that there's now some some um um how can I say that? That's like, like can we call it a fake? I'm not really sure if I ever call it that that way. 
Um, so you can see, so we, we bounced, but we are not aggressively selling against the level. So it's not that that um, um, that, that doesn't look weak. Let's put it that way. So it's it's not weak against 44 anymore. So there's another attempt now. You see a second one. So again, 44 is holding, stepping up, stepping up. Okay, so this is no, this is no short anymore. So you can, well, I even though we didn't make a trade, I hope you um, you see how to um, um, look at this from a pure discretionary uh, perspective. So you can see we could easily have said new or um, um, a former support is new resistance. That's why we're shorting. So we're just placing a sell limit. But it's not about just placing a sell limit here, but it's also about observing the price action. Does it does it fit your thesis? It didn't because we went there, we saw holding, but there was no no aggressive step down. Like we are holding, and then there was um, a seller stepping in front of forty four and pushing us aggressively lower and already stepping down. But in fact, we 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 saw a pop above that. We held shortly, then we flushed below that again. And then there was another push higher, and we held 44. Um, and again, this is this is exactly what 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 you get to see in, in such a scenario. If we are not, I'm sure it's not an option anymore, at least as as of now, right now. So you don't want to be short here again. Probably the flush lower is the trade. We we didn't take it. Um, Holding against 43, then in this case, we are um, 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 taking off some at least um, and getting stopped off the rest. Because now with, with 44, you're taking out the position. The rest, if you have anything left, um, you take it out here. And um, so now this is this is now the, the, the um, you can see there's a reaction to that. So it's the anchor we were up to the um, um, earnings release from yesterday. That's interesting. Um, or no surprise, let's say. So this is the price, which was average um, um, on average paid from market participants. Um, so time's up. I'm sorry. Um, um, time's up. I, I hope you enjoyed the, the event so far. Again, unfortunately, no trade, but I hope you you got an idea on how to interpret the price action based on what we get to see against the level, which we already spotted in the pre-market and based on which we formulated the trade plan. So um, this is hopefully what you take out of this. And um So let's let's jump over to the uh, presentation and uh, to the to the to the last slide. If you have any questions now, based on I'm sorry, if you have any questions now, based on what you just saw, if you watch the video on YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, that you um, uh, leave a thumb up here if you enjoyed uh, the webinar. If you have any questions, check out the comment section below. Ask your questions there. I will do my um, um, best here to answer your questions if you have any. Um, if you have any questions, don't want to post them on YouTube, um, please feel free to reach out to Admirals directly. They will um, um, forward the emails to me and, and, and I will answer them then for you. And um, so I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Um, you got an idea on how to spot potential plays for the day. And um, I wish you all the best. Happy trading. Watch your stops. Um, talk to you again next week. Next week, we have another live trading event with the non-farm payrolls. I really look forward to it. And um, that's it for today. So have a nice weekend. Enjoy yourself. See you. Bye-bye.